and previewing what is said to be a very big occasion for the town that gave birth to one of South Africa's most distinguished heroes of the anti-apartheid struggle. Vuyo, good morning. What are the plans today? Good evening, Dan. Indeed, uh, this uh, particular municipality, the Mbizana, it is indeed Mbizana. That is the official name of uh, what many people know as Bizana. The name now is uh, Mbizana. Now, they are indeed preparing for this big memorial service. It's the official provincial memorial service hosted by the provincial government. Of course, all this... Uh, spheres of government are uh, indeed involved in uh, this uh, particular uh, in this particular function joining me now uh, is uh, the district mayor of uh, the Alfred and uh, Zo municipality it, it now the Mbizana is part of Alfred Nzo. Together we're talking about a population of around or over 800,000 um, people belonging to this district. Now the mayor is here to talk to us about their participation in this memorial service, but also how you hope uh, you will from today onwards best pay tribute to Umamu Wini Matikizela Mandela Mayor. Yes, good morning we are, and to the viewers at home. Yeah, we are here today in Bizana uh, commemorating also our stalwart Chris Ani. This day uh, we remember the killing of our leader Chris Ani. We also celebrate the life and times of Mama Winnie Nelson Mandela, Mama Winnie Matigizela Mandela, for his contribution, for her contribution, that he has sacrificed his, her life, her whole life, for the people of Alfredo, in particular in Vizana, against all odds. He stood the test of time and sacrificed her life. We are now uh, want to pay the last tribute and say uh, goodbye, Mama Winnie. In particular, that the people of our friends will not be able, all of them, to attend to the funeral, to the official funeral that will be held in Soweto. Also, we want to thank the provincial government, also uh, under the stewardship of the Premier and the, our President. Uh, for, for allowing the people of Mbizana to celebrate the life and times of Mama Wini. Uh, we know he's the daughter of the soil. He, we, know, we know that her, her contribution in Alfredo we will not be celebrating this freedom if we're not the effort of such a uh, stature of such leaders like Mama Wini. No. Uh, that's why he's, she is called the mother of the nation. Now, what are you committing to as this region? Uh, I'm saying this in the light of, I mean, only recently you have a case going on in the courts as we speak where about a tender was rigged involving about around 100 million um, yes. rents in Mount Eilish. Uh, what are you committing to uh, in order to ensure that such things uh, do not happen? Yes, we condemn corruption uh, in, in Alfredo, but we, are, we will make sure that we will deliver all the services that the people of Alfredo need. As you would know that some of the things that have happened in Alfredo didn't happen in this. We will know that the attempts, uh, the, 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 what you have seen in the TV or the case that is there in Alfredo have not happened just recently in this term. That was in, in, the, in the years before uh, we, we took uh, the council, but at the, uh, we took the office, but we would make sure that we deliver the services to the people because the only hope that they have is that their government, ANC-led government, will deliver the services as outlined and we are busy on the plans to at least deliver the services as expected by the people of Alfredo and we condemned everything that is as related with corruption and we, we will make sure that that thing will never happen again. 
What are the challenges uh, facing? I mean, to people who don't know, but who look at uh, this region as uh, this region that has, uh, you know, given birth uh, to some uh, of uh, the, our struggle stalwarts, like uh, Oliver Tambo, like Winnie Mandela, whom um, you are talking, we are talking about today. What are the challenges? What are the obstacles to development? Why is it uh, seemingly so difficult to do the work that is supposed to, do, to be done here than in other places? No, an effort is there and the willingness is there in government. But remember that some of the problems that we are, we are, we are find ourselves in are the scars from the apartheid. This place was not even being developed in the plans for the previous government uh, before uh, 1994. It was just after 1994 that we started to, to have a, a just an electricity. There was no electricity, there was no development. But as far as I'm concerned, as we speak now, there, there is, many ones have received a clean drinkable water, we have built dams and the, the, the plans are there in the pipeline and there is willingness from the government, starting from the national government, they are willing to assist us and the backlog that we have now is it's more reduced than it was before and we, we are... We, 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 we are, we, we are very proud of Mama Wini and other leaders like that or Tambo because we have not been there, we have not been in this, uh, 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 we have gained this development if it was not for them sacrificing their lives. Now the people of Alfredo are very proud of the African National Congress. That's why all of them, they vote ANC. Here there is no opposition. People vote ANC because they have trust in the ANC and they want that space to make sure that every time and now and again we make an every effort that we deliver services to our people and we are there for them. Wow. Well, we hope that uh, you won't use that uh, as a reason to not do better than you are doing at the moment. Now, there's the fact that uh, there seems to be no real opposition. But thank you for speaking to us, Mayor, this uh, morning. The District Mayor of Alfred Nzo, Ubud Kolile Mesho Makulu. And with that, it's back to you, Dan.